All right, what's up everyone? Uh, today I'm actually out on a job. I'm working on a 2013 Honda Civic and the upholstery is very, very dirty. Uh, the customer works in a machine shop. Um, super nice guy. It's just, you know, he's getting dirty while he's working, gets in the car, kind of oils and grease and all that kind of stuff gets embedded into the seat. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you. And today I just wanna kind of go over like exactly what you can achieve without an extractor. Uh, just cleaning at home by yourself. You don't need all of the super expensive tools. Um, the extractor will help rinse everything away. So I'm gonna be using a chemical on it to break all the dirt and, and grease and all that kind of stuff up. We're gonna mop it up with a microfiber towel. And then, like I said, the extractor is the best way to pull all of the chemical back out and leave it a clean surface. However, you can do it with a vacuum. You can do it, you know, just rinsing it down and vacuuming it. It takes longer to dry. It's kind of more of a pain in the butt, but it's, uh, if you don't want to spend a bunch of money on an extractor, you can get really, really great results. So I'm gonna flip you guys around, show you the seat and then we'll get going. All right guys, so here's the seat. I actually did the top already. As you can see, it looks nice, super clean. So here's the bottom of the seat. Super, super dirty. You can see it's like absolutely black layered in there, kind of all compressed and gooed up. Um, so that is just all the grease and things like that. Uh, body oils, um, whatever else is coming out from the machine shop. So I'm gonna show you, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some super clean and that super clean I diluted down from, uh, man, what did I, what was my dilution ratio? Probably 10 to one, 10 parts water, one part super clean. I'm just gonna saturate this whole thing with the super clean. We're gonna take a drill brush, which is this guy here. It's just a little brush attachment on a drill, agitates everything, and then we're gonna mop it up with microfiber towel and show you guys the results. All right, so here's my super clean. Now, my trigger sprayer isn't working as good as I would like it to, to be perfectly honest, but um, we're doing what we can. Uh, this one's just kind of been sitting in my truck. It's, actually doing all right right now so I take that back so these super dark spots I'm actually gonna saturate pretty heavily so again we're gonna be mopping all this up anyway but you just want to make sure you're getting everything covered all right guys so now we're getting all saturated okay and now I'm gonna take my drill brush and just agitate it you can already see it's kind of lifting and pulling stuff up now. That is some foamy actually. It's not actually going to look as good as that. But we're just going to do half of this thing. So you guys can see the difference in appearance after this. Alright, so we've done that. I'm going to take the microfiber. So it's a clean side. See how black it is now because it's absorbing all that stuff and you just want to make a couple passes out over it so i'm going to do that really quickly and then i'll pick you guys back up so you can see the difference all right guys so here is the before and after you can see that front panel is still all filthy that middle panel is looking really really good you can see the sides are still really dirty but that middle section looks fantastic all right guys, so I am actually going to be still extracting this. I'm a professional detailing service, we do extract. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of exactly what you can expect cleaning your own seats at home just with a simple chemical and that drill brush and a microfiber to mop it up. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on this car and I'll show you the final result when I'm done. Alrighty guys, so I just finished up. I'm gonna walk you over to the vehicle. I'll let you guys check it out. Here we go. And so there you go guys. Uh, just proof that you don't need all the most expensive tools. 
you can get the job done uh, relatively easily on a budget. Again, having the extractor is best because you're able to rinse out all the chemical from the seat. But like I said, there's other way around, other ways around it. And uh, just hopefully that helps you guys. I know seats get dirty. It's, it's one of the most common things, especially you know your or or where your elbow goes on the center console. All that stuff can get kind of built up and caked up. And this is an easy way to fix that. So I hope that helps you guys. Please make sure to like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn on that notification bell. We'll see you on the next one.